Hey everybody, this is Bryce with LiveRVHelp.com and today we're sharing a video about how to replace your DC uh, bus. What happened on this one is one of the fuses became loose and uh, started arcing. I believe that's what melted one of these fuse bays. And so we're gonna take it out and replace it with this new one that we got off Amazon from Mike Tuning. And it's a little bit smaller, a little bit cleaner. Um, and so we'll be able to replace all that plastic with this smaller one. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, kill the power to the DC bus bar. Uh, this has a disconnect, so pushed in is off. Um, so I'll grab my voltmeter and make sure it's on DC, not AC. Um, I, that's thrown me for a loop before. I've been testing DC on the AC setting and it uh, doesn't read correctly. So make sure you're on DC and I'll put one on the neutral bar, one on the hot line in and make sure it's this 0.4, which is uh, pretty much nothing as far as volts. So you can show there's no uh, power going to there, and so we're good to start disconnecting. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start disconnecting. Um, all for this we need is a flathead screwdriver and an Allen wrench. So go ahead and get started. Um, disconnect these neutral bars. Uh, As you can tell, I've previously unloosened these up for speed, but we just uh, loosen up each one of these bolts and pull it off. Also, before I started this, I took a picture of it, and so that way I know uh, which colors go to which one in which order, and that just kind of helps out because these are cut certain lengths to, to make it on here. All right, now we have everything loosened up. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out this hot bar like it needs to be loosened up a little bit more there we go pull that and there it is so this is the one that was arcing you can see on there how it's melted and uh this is hooked up to the exterior lights and that's how we knew had the problem the exterior lights kept flickering and kept blowing this fuse here all right now that we got uh Everything disconnected from the previous uh, DC bus. We're gonna grab our new DC bus. And one thing I liked about this is it kind of showed you everything from positive to negative, your negatives on the bottom and little positives on top there. Uh, so that way it's pretty simple on hooking back up. These little terminals, I have for a 10 gauge wire because that's what I have uh, coming from the battery is 10 gauge. So I'm gonna crimp these onto the end of that, put on these terminals. I took already took the nuts off and put the nuts over the top. And then I'll um, connect these neutrals with the neutral side and the uh, positive, the hot lines, uh, to the associated colors based on the picture I took earlier. All right, so first thing I'll grab uh, this neutral and twist it on to this terminal. All right, we got the neutral one on, and now we're just gonna do the same thing uh, to the hot wire. Make sure you get it quite a bit, just about all the way to the end there. And crimp it down. All right, then we'll move those out of the way, because, uh, the hardest part is going to be is to hook the um, power terminals up to the bus bar. Uh, so I was going to do that first and then come around and since these are a little bit longer, come around and do the neutrals uh, at the bottom once we're done with that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put little terminal connectors up to each one of uh, the wires coming in and out of this because that will fit better the way they have this set up here with the nuts and the washer in there, rather than just put the wire straight on there. Um, it's so short in there and there's just, just not enough room. So I think it'll be best to put these little uh, connectors on there and then hook it up to the bus bar from there. All 
All right, so I went ahead and put uh, terminal connectors on each one of the ends, ends of these wires. Uh, that way they'll fit nice and easy behind these screws. And that way I can tighten the screws uh, to that connection so they're nice and tight in there. As you can see, I got some circle ones too, only because I ran out of these C-clamps. Uh, so I'm going to have to take the screw all the way out, put the screw through there, and to hold it to the bus bar here. Um, as you can see, there's blue and yellow. The blue are for the 14 to 16 gauge wires, and this is a bigger wire. This is the 10 gauge, and so I use the yellow for the 10 to 12 gauge wire. If you ever have any questions on what gauge wire to use for what kind of power you're using, online, I just Google it, and there's tons of useful information, nice tables out there, so that way you know what gauge wire to run, what kind of amperage, and then also use the associated uh, connectors with that gauge wire. All right, so right here, uh, we have our diagram of what color wire goes to uh, what system. And so when I hook these up to the DC bus bar, um, I'm gonna put them in this order, just kind of so it's easier uh, later on down the road when I'm pulling out fuses, or if I have to do this again, um, I'll be able to know in order which ones to do. Over here, if you're wondering what these are for, many of you probably already know, these are your um, AC circuit breakers for their amperage. Um, so this is your AC side and your DC. All right, we'll move on down um, into uh, where the wire hookups are gonna go. So the first one on that diagram was black. There's the positive right here. So I'm gonna put those two black uh, connectors together and then put the screw uh, through them and tie them to the bus bar. All right, now um, I'm gonna find my longest wires just because I'm gonna put the longest one here and go consecutively shorter all the way down just so that way they'll fit all a little bit nicer. All right, um, so you have the uh, positives and negatives all hooked up. You can see why I like the C-clamps. From here, um, I'm gonna connect the um, main negative and positive right here. Um, and then I'm gonna get a feel of where I want this to be placed at. It's probably gonna be about right here. I got these wood screws uh, that I'm gonna use to screw in. Uh, attach it to this backing. I know there's no wires behind here because uh, I checked it prior and this is a wood particle board so I know it'd be good uh, to screw into. All right. All right, so I got the bus bar screwed in uh, to the wall here. Uh, now it's time uh, to connect uh, the main wires that come from the battery onto here. And again, that power is still off. All right, um, we got the uh, positive and negative hooked up there, uh, screwed down with the bolts that came with the uh, DC bus. So from here we got uh, power going to it. The only thing stopping the power is this disconnect here. So um, the fuses are out, but the power is hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this in, which turns, or uh, pull it, 
which turns it on. And so now I have my voltmeter and we're just gonna check the voltage before we hook up any fuses. Uh, so that way we can just make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So again, make sure it's on DC and I have a 12 volt system. So 12.6, that's good. That's right, we need to be. Batteries are good and charged. Um, so we're ready for fuses. We'll go from there. All right, now I got my fuses. And uh, if you read the blog, it kind of talks a little bit about fuses, but you can just slide them in there anyway. Um, I have 20 amp fuses for each one of these. I don't know if you heard when I plugged that in. Um, I can hear my uh, fuel gauge for my for this toy hauler turn on and so um, once I put these in that makes them live and so they're all turning on all the systems I use 20 amp fuses because I think that's plenty of uh, amps that's needed for each system um, and as you could tell by the diagram that I showed you earlier there's not many systems on one so just to make sure everything's working right, I got my voltmeter. And this voltmeter I got at a garage sale, so it doesn't work perfect, but it works pretty good for especially the price that was paid. Um, so I just will touch the negative with this and touch each hot one. Whoops, that completes the circuit. So it's looking for 12 on each one of these. making sure that everything is working good and there we go all right um one more thing something cool about this it has this cool little cover that goes over the top of those fuses each one and has a little screw and it also came with labels pre-made labels and i believe there's some in here you can label yourself uh, so you can put your own labels on there too, which I thought was kind of cool. But yeah, so uh, you can see, it just kind of cleaned it up from what it used to look like before. Um, I'll have some pictures of it, what it was before. If you have any questions on anything that we've done on here, want me to go more in depth, uh, leave it in the comment section uh, and I'll answer you. If there's enough comments, I'll make a video on it. Also check out our other blogs, especially all the tools I used here. Um, we have a blog section on commenting on what kind of tools uh, are in your tool bag for when you go camping. So let me know if you like it. Let me know what kind of videos you want in the future. And I'll see you guys later.